The Misery Index is an economic indicator, created by economist Arthur O'Conn, and found by adding the unemployment rate to the inflation rate. It is assumed that both a higher rate of unemployment and a worsening of inflation create economic and social costs for a country. Misery Index, era by U.S. President. Variations on the Misery Index, Harvard economist Robert Barrow created what he dubbed the A Euro OE Barrow Misery Index a Euro, in 1999. The BMI takes the sum of the inflation and unemployment rates, and adds to that the interest rate, plus the shortfall between the actual and trend rate of GDP growth. In the late 2000s, Johns Hopkins economist Steve Hank built upon Barrow Euro unregistered trademark S Misery Index and began applying it to countries beyond the United States. His modified Misery Index is the sum of the interest, inflation, and unemployment rates, minus the year-over-year -year percent change in per capita GDP growth. Hank has recently constructed a world table of misery index scores by exclusively relying on data reported by the Economist Intelligence Unit. This table includes a list of 89 countries, ranked from worst to best, with data as of December 31, 2013. In Mike Maloney's Hidden Secrets of Money bonus features for Episode 1, Bonus Feature 1, Dave Morgan suggests that if you multiply the unemployment rate times 2 and add it to the inflation rate, you will get chaos when the sum of the two quantities is greater 50. Political economists Jonathan Nitzen and Shimshon Bickler found a negative correlation between a similar stagflation index and corporate amalgamation in the United States since the 1930s. In their theory, stagflation is a form of political economic sabotage employed by corporations to achieve differential accumulation, in this case as an alternative to amalgamation when merger and acquisition opportunities have run out. Criticism a 2001 paper looking at large-scale surveys in Europe and the United States concluded that unemployment more heavily influences unhappiness than inflation. This implies that the basic misery index underweights the unhappiness attributable to the unemployment rate. The estimates suggest that people would trade off a 1 percentage point increase in the unemployment rate for a 1.7 percentage point increase in the inflation rate. Misery and Crime some economists posit that the components of the misery index drive the crime rate to a degree. Using data from 1960 to 2005, they have found that the misery index and the crime rate correlate strongly and that the misery index seems to lead the crime rate by a year or so. In fact, the correlation is so strong that the two can be said to be co-integrated, and stronger than correlation with either the unemployment rate or inflation rate alone. Data sources the data for the Misery Index is obtained from unemployment data published by the U.S. Department of Labor and the inflation rate from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The exact methods used for measuring unemployment and inflation have changed over time, although past data is usually normalized so that past and future metrics are comparable. References The U.S. Misery Index, U.S. Misery Index by President HTTP www.businessweek.com 1999-02-21-reagan vs. Clinton who's the economic champ, http, www.cato augmentary misery mena, http, www.cato augmentary measuring misery around world, capital as power, a study of order and creorder Nitzan and Bickler, 2009, pages 384-386, D. Teller, Raphael. McCulloch, Robert J. and Oswald, Andrew, Preferences Over Inflation and Unemployment, Evidence from Surveys of Happiness, American Economic Review, 91, 1, pp 335-341. p340, https, Ideas Reap Gagali 102y 2009 i 2 p 112-115 html New Evidence from the Misery Index in the Crime Function, Tang. Chor Foon Lean, Hu Hu. External links, The Current and Historical Misery Index, The Misery Index by President, The Misery Index by Year, Cato Publications Commentary.